Let's talk about templates for a second. You know, you get one of those pre-made files, maybe in Google Slides or PowerPoint or something, something that a teacher has already made, and you get your hands on that file. And all I have to do is just make a couple little adjustments. And all of a sudden, you have this activity that's ready to assign to your students with not a whole lot of prep work. Now, you can find really great templates in lots of places, but sometimes it's tricky to track down a whole big heap of, of pre-made ones that are really, really good. And sometimes you got to pay for them. And then the other tricky part of it, too, is customizing the content that goes into those templates. That's why you need to know about Diffit if you don't already, because with Diffit, you can, you can create content that will go into those templates and then you can flow it right into a Google Slides or PowerPoint file that you can assign out right to your students. I mean, you can have a whole activity done in like a minute, plus or minus. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it takes to create some content with Diffit and then flow it into one of those pre-made templates. So you'll notice here you can get just right resources for literally anything. All you have to do is just give a topic or a theme or a question and it's going to create some content, some learning content that you can give to your students. Or if you have a link to an article or a video, you can use that. If you have any sort of text or excerpt that you can copy and paste onto the page, or you can even start from a vocabulary list. So we're gonna come over here and let's say we're doing something about the Boston Tea Party. And so what we've done here is we've generated all of this content on a fifth grade level in English. And so you notice we have an image that was pulled right from Wikipedia. We have an adapted reading passage that is written right on that grade level. We've got a three point, three bullet point summary, some key vocabulary words, some multiple choice questions, short answer questions, and even open ended prompts. They're kind of like discussion prompts. So, just that in and of itself is pretty incredible that it'll pull that up in just a matter of seconds. But then what do you do with that content? That's where it gets really interesting because you can click this Get Student Activities button, or you can come over here into the Export side panel and click See All Export Options. This is where you get into all of those pre-made Google Slides and PowerPoint templates. And let me tell you, there are a ton of them. And so if you look across the top here, here are the categories that help you sort of sort the available activities so that you can find exactly what you're looking for. So, you know, stuff like reading strategies, writing strategies, text analysis, so on and so forth. The recent ones that you've used before are right up here. And then you see if you scroll a little bit, 321 writing summary, a Freyer model, Google Forms quizzes, printable documents, readings with discussion questions, just all of this stuff. You'll notice that some of them will say free this month and some of them will say free forever. And then there's others that don't, which you can get with a, a paid premium plan. So let's take that lesson that we just created about the Boston Tea Party, and let's do this viral video activity. This is actually part of a package of activities that we collaborated with Diffit on, um, us at Ditch That Textbook. And so there's about five of these templates that we co-created with them that sort of fit in with the types of stuff that we do on our own templates uh, our own templates library. And so this viral video one is kind of fun. It says in this activity, students will create a script for a viral video ad based on the reading passage. Help students practice summarizing, summarize key points, identify interesting elements, and craft engaging content. And it also encourages creativity and critical thinking. So what's this going to do? See, you'll notice that this pre-made Google Slides PowerPoint template has all of these things where we're going to pull some of that content in that was already made. But then what we can do on top of that, see, we could just export it as is. Notice that it's pulled in our adapted reading passage. It's pulled in the image and then done a what do you notice, what do you wonder activity with it. It pulled in the key vocabulary, use it in a sentence and add an image. So it's got all of these pre-made things. But if you want to customize it even further, hit this customize activity button. This is pretty cool because now it allows you to go up and down through all of those pages that it already populated into that template. And so you can delete. So if we don't need that key vocabulary one, we're just going to delete that section out. If we decide that we want to move the short answer questions above the multiple choice questions, that's super easy to do. 
And then on top of that, we can also add new sections. So let's say we're working our way through this and we want to include something like a three, two, one reading summary based on that adapted reading passage. We click add resource and now that's thrown in here. And so now let's say we want to move that up a little closer to the top. We move everything around the way that we want. We can even go in and edit the content. And so this is back over here into the original content that was created. And so we can edit that. And then once we're done, we hit export. And once it's done exporting, what have we got? We've got our activity generated, which we can open in Google Slides. We can download it as a PowerPoint. We can even download it as a PDF. Or there's the easy share to classroom button. If you use Google Classroom, this saves you even more time. So if I click the open Google Slides, you can see what the finished product looks like. It's got some teacher instructions so that you know exactly what to do with it. And then here is that same Google Slides template that we worked on inside of Diffit, but now it's in a Google Slides file that lives inside of your own Google Drive. And of course, with any of this, you'll be able to you know, go into the text and be able to change things around and edit it as necessary. And then what do you do? You assign it out to your students and boom, you're done. Now, if you want to try these templates out on your own, you can always just go to diffit.me. Just go straight to the website and create some content and dive right into them. But if you want to see those templates that we created, those ditch that textbook templates, you can go to ditch.link slash diffit templates. So that's ditch.link slash diffit templates to be able to get our ditch that textbook templates. So if you're looking for a quick and easy way to create some of these Google Slides templates or PowerPoint templates and assign them right to your students in a matter of minutes, maybe in the matter of minute, then you got to check out Diffit.